So well, welcome and thank you so much for taking your time to um, hear what we have to talk about tonight on our, our Fast Start training. Um, you, you know, the topic I wanna to talk about tonight um, has to do with um, how we, so to speak, kind of employ our, our customers. And I wanna show you how to make money with customers because if you think about it, um, our company, um, has something of like 80, 82% our customers. We have such an awesome product. People love our product, want to use our product. And so, you know, we all have a lot of customers. So I want to talk to you more about, you know, how we're going to go about making those customers be the most that they can. And I'm going to take you through a little bit of the comp plan and how I take a customer who's using the product, getting some great results on the product and how we can get some more referrals out of them how we can make them become a distributor. So it's not always just about um, looking for distributors. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, there we go. Let me make it full slide. There we go, okay, all right. So I wanna talk about how we can make our customers um, distributors and really how we can make them work for us, how we can make more out of having just a customer month after month, because there are some things that, that I'm coming to realize that if you do not um, follow up with your customers, if you do not um, talk to your customers, if you don't treat your customers well, they can disappear over amount of time because you know, they forget the benefits of the products. And that's one of the things with, with nutrition and nutritional products and supplements is, you know, when people are feeling good, they don't seek things out. It's, it's just like, as far as our opportunity, a lot of times people come to our opportunity when they're in a point that maybe they've lost their job or, or they need to make money or they need to make a change. You know, their back is up against the wall. So one of the things that you can do you know, when you have a customer, um, is there a great source of referrals? So yes, we are always looking for distributors, but again, think about it. When you think about the distributor base we have with 80, 82% of its customers, that means maybe 20% of those are distributors. That would make sense in, you know, 10 people you're looking for, if everyone joined, eight would be customers and only two would be distributors. So while we always want to look for distributors, our fallback should be customers. And so generally what I do is I, I lead with sharing the opportunity, but if I realize that they're not open for an opportunity right away, I very, very quickly uh, switch to the product. So yes, we are always looking for distributors, but again, they can be such a great source of referrals. And you think about our product, who doesn't need our product? Who doesn't want our product? When you look at some of the, the health benefits and the anti-aging um, science that's out there and all the great books list, uh, that are written on these subjects, everybody really wants our product, particularly once they understand it. I always think that you know, sharing why our product is different is probably the hardest job we have. The rest is, is pretty easy. Um, but customers can become distributors. Make sure, and this is big, you need to stay in contact with your customers. It's not just a matter of once they, they go on an auto ship, and I think this is a big downfall. Once they go on an auto ship, it's not over. You always need to make sure, you know, pick one day out of the month that you're going to reach out. And it could be something as simple as a text, um, but, you know, make sure you're staying in contact with them, that you are creating that rapport. Um, so, you know, anytime that they do have a question, they feel really comfortable with, you know, picking up the phone and asking you, because that could lead to other products as well. And, and as I take you through this, you'll see how we can get much more out of them just being that one-time customer wherever they started with whatever package package they might have started. So again, thank them for their orders, send them thank you notes. You know, when Bobby and I have a new customer start and we're just starting that relationship and we've just introduced the products to them, I always send them a thank you note. I say, thank you so much for, you know, allowing us to supply you these great products. I'll send some samples of Axio. This is very simple to do and it can be very, very inexpensive as well. You know, you've got your samples of Axio and you send a few. I, I have one of those old cars where we send one of each or you can send two depending on how you're mailing it. Um, but you can simply go to like the dollar store or something now and they have thank you cards too for a dollar or you could buy like a whole 
um, package, you know, at current or whatever, you could buy like a, a dozen thank you cards. And so you just keep them on hand. So it's just a matter of addressing them and out they go. It really doesn't take any big time. But you know, the really cool thing that, that we're learning, and I'm actually reading a book, how important cards are these days, because people get you know, they get some junk mail, but they don't really get real mail. They get a lot of email, they get a lot of texts, they get a lot of Facebook stuff, but they don't get thank you notes anymore. And so, you know, when somebody sees that brightly colored envelope, they get super, super excited about it. They don't expect anything in the mail anymore. You know, a lot of people, particularly the, the younger people I talk to, you know, my boys, my boys are a classic example. They rarely go to the mailbox because their bills are online, everything's online. So when I mail them a package or something, I have to say, go to your mailbox because they don't. But you know, people really appreciate, you know, thank you notes and, and cards in general, and, and they get open first. If you took 10 envelopes and one was a card and the other were just white envelopes, everybody opens the card first. So everybody appreciates that great little hand note written in there just saying, you know, thank you so much. Um, it goes a long way. Some samples of Axio, which are pretty inexpensive. So that should be a start. And that's something that you should do with, you know, every customer that you do have. Follow up often. Like I said, put it in your calendar for once a month to make sure you go through all your customers follow up with them one way or another. If you've got a lot, divide it into two days during the month or whatever. You wanna send them articles. You know, I've started sending birthday cards when I know it's, you know, if I happen to know their birthday or it comes up somewhere, maybe it showed up on Facebook, I'm making a note in my calendar. You know, just to keep that relationship going so that, you know, not only, and this is where I'm gonna go with this, not only am I gonna have them as a customer, and I want them as a customer for life, and Life Vantage has a really good retention rate, but I think too often that people aren't following up with their customers, and more importantly, they're not re-educating them um, you know, a lot on how, off, how great these products are. They just don't re-educate them, and so again, people forget why you were excited that they got started on the product, but you know, send them useful information, new products. Whenever we've come out with a new product, it's a great time to get, you know, in front of them again or reacquainted or whatever you need to do or some promotional materials that are coming out you know make sure that you're continually staying in contact so that they know about all these great promotions you know new products that come out and you know if they're on facebook make sure that they're attached to your personal profile i have a few customers that they order a lot of product every month you know a couple hundred dollars easily and so i love the fact that they're on my facebook personal profile so when i see that Today, one of them went out and she had just bought a new RV. So, you know, I could congratulate her on that and different things that have gone on in her life. But I've got quite a few that way and it makes it easier for me to stay in touch with them. Also keep them in a Facebook, a product Facebook group so that they can, you know, be um, tagged in, you know, information that pertains to them, maybe something that of interest. It's interesting that people need to be dripped on a little bit before they're finally like, oh yeah, tell me more about that product or whatever, even though it's been a product we've, we've had for a while. But again, you got to keep your name, you got to keep our products, you got to keep educating people. It's not just that, that one-time sale and, and they're, you know, they're done. So, you know, we need to do a, a better job of that. I've started doing a much better job of it and I've gotten quite a bit of um, feedback from our customers and are getting so much more out of them. But your customers can become distributors. Always ask for referrals, you know, always ask, do you know anybody else who needs, wants, would like these products? You always need to ask for referrals because, you know, they like you, so they want to help you. And that's really what a referral is, just helping you, you know, get further with what you're doing. And people are generally happy to do those referrals. And it's, you know, it's a quick little line. You just, you just mentioned it out there. You know, always give them the option of knowing that if they sign up for $50, they can get paid for these referrals. And that's what I'm going to go into because I've noticed time and time again, whenever um, somebody has given me that referral, I always get back to them and I say, well, you know, you could, you could make $12 on that referral. And they're always like, well, what do I have to do to get? And a lot of times they'll do the 50 just to get the 12 because people, it's that fear of loss, I think. I don't know what it is, but, you know, again, you need to, you don't use the, the terminology that they're going to come become a distributor, but you just let them know that they could be earning some money and that can offset the cost of their products as well. We can earn anywhere from 30 to 40% 
on products, first time orders. And so, you know, that can really start to add up if they're just, um, you know, doing these referrals. And we talked about doing referrals on Facebook profiles and that can generate a lot more business for you as well. So customers can be distributors. Um, so let's say that you have a customer who's on a, a dual synergizer. They're on the NRF2 and the NRF1. And so that costs $85, it's 80 points. We get paid on the points, not the actual dollar amount. And they refer their good friend, oh, there's not a space in the customer orders, but they refer a good friend who does exactly the same as them. They, they do a, a dual synergizer. Do you realize that they only get the 30% because they haven't gotten to the 40% yet. You have to have 200 points to get there. But, you know, 80 and 80 is 160. So they're between that 100 and 200 as far as points. Um, so they've earned 30% or $24 on that order. And so again, time and time again, um, when I've, you know, gone back to the original customer and said, look, you know, thank you so much for referring customer XYZ. You know, if you decide you want to sign up, you can earn $24 on that. It's $50 to sign up. And again, time and time again, they've, it, it just always kind of surprises me, but it happens that they're willing to, you know, spend $50 in order to make the $24 and not lose out on, and I think it's that fear of what might happen. What happens if that customer decides they really love the product and they decide to become a distributor and they become some, some big money and some big picture. And we just, you know, we just never know what's going to happen. So a lot of times they will do that. So, you know, if your customer, you know, has a 40 point order, which would be just like the NRF2, they earn $12. The 80, 80 points we just talked about is $24. And then 100 points, maybe it's a tri synergizer, would earn them $30. So that's, you know, anywhere between your order of 80 and then you're having a customer purchase something and you're stuck between that 100 and 200 uh, points in personal volume. And I'm gonna explain that just a little bit more, but I want you to realize that whenever you have a customer who refers a customer and the customer purchases, be sure you go back to the original customer. They're still a customer, they're not a distributor, they're not earning money, but do let them know that you know, if they want to become a distributor, they don't have to do anything big, you know, it's $50. They're not tied into anything. They're not locked into anything. They don't ever have to refer or tell another person, but they could earn on that order. You always have to let them know their options. We, you know, we have to educate them, but again, we're not gonna educate them on saying, you know, do you wanna become a distributor or you wanna sell a lot of this product? It's kind of careful in the terminology that, that you use when you're talking to people. But again, just using this referral makes people feel good about it. So if your customer, your personal customer is on a tri synergizer, that's 100 points. Okay. If they refer a customer who does, does exactly the same because the 100 points on their order plus the 100 points on the customer order, they've now been moved up into that 40% um, category and they now earn $40 on that order. So, you know, particularly this month where the sign up is free, you know, that could be a lot of money to somebody, but you know, just generally, again, somebody will pay, you know, $50 to be able to get the $40. You'll see that happen, you know, quite often. And so what if they knew three customers? What if it was more than just the one customer? What if they knew a couple people? What if they were really excited about the product? What if they've gotten, we've heard some amazing, amazing testimonies. What if they've gotten some amazing testimonies and still, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't feel that they can so-called sell anything. They just, they're, they're not into sales. They don't think they could do that. But, you know, they certainly could refer the product and you could help them by maybe doing a referral post on, on their Facebook profile, their personal profile. But what if they got three new customers that month? You know, and, and really that would be hard if it's them. It could be both their parents and a sibling. I mean, it really isn't that crazy if you're getting some good results and you understand the science behind our products to be able to get maybe your best friend and your brother and, and your mother on the product, it's not, you know, it's not that far fetched to think that you could get three customers very quickly. And so now your product is free. And there's a lot of promotions out there. There's a lot of companies out there that work this way. You know, if you get three customers or you get five customers, or you get 10 customers, you know, if you give me a referral, I'll give you something. You know, it doesn't even have to be per the comp plan. If somebody gives you a referral and maybe they're only on the NRF two, 
and they refer somebody who does enter up to, all right, that's 80 points. It doesn't really get them into a place where they can earn money. But maybe you can throw in, we were talking about hand cream earlier, or you can throw in some samples of something or, you know, give them back a few dollars or something. You know, there's all these things. You just need to be a little bit creative with customers and we gain their trust. We gain their confidence. And so they're just more likely to go ahead and refer more people for us. But one of the things that's important when you're playing with these smaller numbers, and we're all used to the packages, we know what we earn on packages, we know how to work through packages, we know how to earn money with packages. But again, when you're doing a referral, you know, you're playing with a lot littler numbers. So you want to be careful that your pay period is Monday to Sunday night at midnight. You want to make sure that those orders fall in there and that you don't get an order on a Friday or Saturday and just think, oh, it's the weekend. I won't put it into the following Monday or something. So you do want to be careful of, you know, putting the amount of um, um, volume in, in that same week or making sure that the person that's doing the referral is qualified to get paid on that volume that's going on. So what is personal volume? And so this is where it gets a little confusing. Sometimes people aren't uh, they're not familiar with what personal volume means. So this is what's going to lead into the next month. And so personal volume is your personal purchase. So if you've done the tri synergizer, that's a hundred dollars for you. I mean, a hundred points for you, but you always need at least 40 points. So basically it's got to be at least an NRF two plus whatever your customers have done. So let's say that you did a tri synergizer this month. That was a hundred points. Well, what if you're three, referrals, those three other people, they each did a hundred, you know, they did the tri synergize, that's a hundred points. So you're starting the next month, because again, it's your personal volume plus your customer's volume with 400 points. So you can see how this can quickly add up. And so then you do the same thing with, with your referrals. You ask them to ask people for referrals and, and you, you know, it's a, it's the slow approach, but look what you're doing with people that otherwise maybe would have ordered a little product, and you didn't really lock them in, so to speak, anyway. There was no volume going on. They weren't excited about anything. You didn't stay in contact with them. And, you know, one day they opened the bottle and they were ready to reorder. And they're just like, I'm not sure if this is doing anything because you didn't educate them. You didn't stay in contact with them. And, you know, my fear is a lot of times people will fall off because we haven't stayed in contact and we haven't, you know, shared maybe the latest science that's gone on or the latest book that we read about it and how excited we still are about the product. So, you know, if you have 100 points of PV, so again, you know, going back to the points, you are still only going to earn, so it's 100 to 200, you're going to earn 30%. If you've got 200 or more, you're going to earn 40%. And so that's where that is. And so again, I'm going to use the order if you personally, or the example, if you personally ordered a tri synergizer, which is going to get you 100 points, and you have three customers, so each do the same. And there is power in duplication because people just, they don't know, so they do whatever you did. So whatever you did, they're gonna do the same thing. So that would be a total of 400 points there. And so, you know, we tell people to look for distributors and, you know, we're definitely looking, it's the faster way to go with people that are gonna be distributors. They were out looking for people who wanna earn money, people that wanna use the product. You know, distributors are looking for it all. They want somebody that's gonna do everything that we're doing. But again, keep in mind when you think about the, the people overall in our company that are, that are using product, you know, only a smaller percentage, maybe 20% of those are, are actually distributors that are actually looking to do what you and I are doing. The beauty of our industry is, you know, it really doesn't matter where you start. It doesn't matter which package you choose. If you start as a customer, I can think of all the testimonies that I've heard in the last two and a half years of people that just started to use a product and then they loved the product so much, they shared it with people and then they became a distributor. We uh, heard from a lady, um, I guess maybe two weeks ago this was, um, somebody in our organization approached somebody who had literally been on the product for 10 years but never knew there was an opportunity. So definitely always look for the distributor. That's definitely where you wanna start. But you know, if they just say, hey, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm doing my dream job. I got my dream hours. My life is great. Not really looking for anything else. Not looking for a side hustle. Fine. Great. We have some awesome products. Can I share some information about our, who's going to say no? 
you know, just share the information about the products, get a customer, ask for referrals. You know, we just want to make the most out of everybody that we come across so that, you know, we can get as big a business as we care to get because really that's our job. Our job is to educate everyone not to choose whether somebody should be a distributor or a customer or a little distributor or, or you know, a part-time spare time. It's, it's not our opportunity. Our opportunity is to offer what we have, be excited about what we have, um, and then, you know, just let them lay where they are, stay in contact with them, and help them get whatever it is they want. Because we do know that life changes. We do know. I mean, I look at the people today that, you know, are out of work, probably never thought that they would be out of work, people with some really great jobs. And you just can't predict what the future holds. You don't know what industries out there might change. And so someone that has that dream job, that dream life, it can quickly change. So again, always look for the distributor, but don't forget about the customers and don't forget about the referrals. So thanks so much. I hope that was helpful for you and um, we'll look forward to seeing you real soon. Thanks, bye.